I'll be demoing some of the inclusive and accessible features built right into OneNote. And I'm in the OneNote for Windows 10 app, but this also works in the web as well as many other platforms. So on the Home tab here, I'll move over and I'm going to click the Dictate button. Now I'm dictating in OneNote, period. Can I ask a question? Question mark. Now I'm really excited, exclamation point. And I've clicked the button to turn it off. We support speech to text built in in 19 languages and this is all available today. Next up, I'll show one of my favorites, the Immersive Reader. It's built right into OneNote. If I go to the View menu, I can click Immersive Reader. So this is focus mode and I can just hit play at the bottom. The physical features of a region are often rich in resources. And I can change the voice speed faster, slower, male or female. I'm not going to do the entire Immersive Reader demo because we have other YouTube videos, but a few things. I can increase spacing. I can change the background colors really easily. I can do things like line focus to focus a line. I can click on a word and hear it Mountain. and see a picture. Mountain. And I can also translate. So I could translate the entire document, in this case, into Spanish and then read it out loud. Las características físicas de una región a menudo son ricas. And then go back to the original. So really powerful, built right into the immersive reader. The other thing is, is we will automatically take images that you send in through Office Lens. If you get the free Office Lens app, and I can send that to OneNote. So here's a picture I took of a book. Now, if I hit view and immersive reader off this picture, all of those same things apply. His progress. Its head revolving on its long so that's Harry Potter, and if I want to translate Harry Potter into Spanish and read it out loud, I can do that too. Su progreso. Su cabeza girando en su largo... So this is universal content access right here built into OneNote. The immersive reader works on those pictures as well as regular text. Next also translate. Not everyone knows OneNote has translate, but if I go to the view menu, and I'm going to select some text in this case, and I choose translate, I'll choose selection. And in this case, I've chosen it to translate to Chinese simplified. If I hit insert, it'll just insert that right there. Now I'm going to undo this. So I just undid that because now instead I'm going to do the entire page translated. So I say I'd like to translate the page from English into Spanish, but we have 60 something languages that you can translate to. So if I choose Spanish and hit translate, it's going to create an entire new page as a sub page right beneath geography. And now there's an entire page in Spanish. And I can use Immersive Reader on this or anything else I want. Now for inclusive math, OneNote supports math. So we support inked math as well as typed math. So if you don't have inking, that's fine. I've got a math equation that I've gotten here. If I go to the Insert menu and I click Math, I'm not going to walk through all of the math capabilities, but make sure you check this out. If I want to solve for x and I want to say show the steps, which is supported for all equations. We have all these solver right here, but it has numbers, letters, words, it's a story problem. Maybe that's challenging for me to read due to visual crowding or dyslexia. Maybe I need it in a different language. So there's an immersive reader button right here. And it opens that math up in the immersive reader. So now I can do all those same things. Maybe I want to change the background color. Maybe I'd like to have focus mode for ADHD. Maybe I want to go down here and read the equation out loud. To both sides. 5x equals 70 plus 6y. And if I need to translate that, maybe mom and dad are going to help me, but they need to see the story problem in a different language. I click translate and now it's all in Spanish. La ecuación está en forma estándar. 5x igual a 6 y más 70. So this is inclusive math fully built into OneNote and it works on typed math as well as inked math. And this is supported both in Windows 10 as well as the browser. Lastly, I'll show the accessibility checker, which not everyone knows about. So on the view menu in OneNote, there's this check accessibility button and I'll click it. Now the accessibility checker looks at the current page, but I can also look across my whole notebook. So maybe I'm an educator making content for students. And so I might go in here and, and open one of these and I can find out some things like maybe there's a warning on too much white space. This one says I need to add alt text. You know, I can right click on a picture and add alternative text. So you can go through your notebook and pages really easily and make sure that they're fully accessible.